Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, LMG here, bringing you the Fallout 4 DLC update. Sheffield, I swear to God, if you interrupt me again, just, yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we got the DLC update. We actually have DLC yeah. coming in March. First thing we're going to talk about is the mysterious Automatron. Actually, it'll be a, it's going to retail for about 10 bucks though. If you remember, if you do got the season pass, that is free, can include with your season pass. And then season pass is actually going to go up to like 60 bucks. About 60 bucks on March 1st. So you want to make sure if you get it, you're going to get it, get it now. Get it now. Go out and get it. Because you're going to have like $60 or more worth of content uh, for 30 bucks. That's a hell of a deal. But yeah, it's going to be uh, 10 bucks American is the first one we're talking about. Automatron. So actually, the mysterious mechanic has unleashed a horde of evil robots in the Commonwealth, including the devious Robo Brain. So you're going to hunt them down, harvest their parts, and you can build your own mo uh, custom robot f companions. So multiple ones I think you can make. Hundreds of mods, mixing limbs, armor, abilities, and weapons. Like they all, they got new, all new uh, lightning chain gun. You can get paint schemes, and you can even choose the robot's own voices, which is that's kind of a. There's some mods out there that are kind of close to that, but that's I'm sure it's Bethesda. It's going to be on a whole new level, of course. That's my crappy sign I made in the beginning. I need to really uh, up that up sometime, but there's always stuff to do, stuff to shoot in this game. So I always get distracted. The next one is going to be in uh, April. That's going to be the Wasteland Workshop. I kind of like this one. This I, I figured there was going to be some DLC that was just going to be totally, uh, you know, workshop specific. Yeah, th this is a uh, new... You can design and set cages to capture live creatures. From Raiders to Death Claws. And then you can have them face off in battle like in your own kind of little uh, arena. And even against your your fellow settlers. Oh, that's turning dark. That includes a, sw a new design options, which are probably going to screw up your mods. Yeah, Nixie 2, Blighting, Letter Kits, uh, Taxidermy. All right. Maybe I can uh, taxidermy the mayor, McDonough. Maybe even strong. I'd love to taxidermy him. Okay, and more. But the big one I'm kind of excited on is uh, Far Harbor. Yeah, it's going to actually retail for 25 bucks. Uh, yeah, the workshop one is only like 5 bucks, So it's going to be a little less. Just stuff to add to your workshop. I'd probably be too excited about. Uh, yeah, there's mods that come close to that, but probably not going to look quite as nice. Yeah, Far Harbor. There's actually a new case from Valentine Detective Agency. You can lead on a search for a young woman in a secret colony of synths. So I actually want to check. They travel off the coast of Maine. So I actually want to see what this is going to be at. I'm going to take my guess here. Uh, I'd say it's going to be the biggest. So what are we going to be using here? I'm going to imagine it's going to be... It'll be within this map space, but somewhere around here. Down this area. Probably down this area or way up here. Not off, They can't really go off the map on that one. I would probably say, yeah, right south of Spectacle Island. This would be the perfect spot. This is actually going to be their biggest add-on uh, area they've ever done. So this would be actually quite amazing. Yeah, they got higher levels of radiation to create a more feral world. So, ooh. And actually, going to grow in contact between the synths, the children of the atom, and the local townspeople. So you actually can't bring peace to the harbor, but at what cost? Oh, no. Yeah, this is the largest landmass they've ever had for an add-on ever. So new faction quest settlements, lethal creatures, and dungeons. I'm going to just read out the press release. Got more powerful high-level armor and weapons. Okay, that is actually pretty exciting. And that's the only their, this is the first series of their DLC. I imagine that the way they worded it, it's going to be a second series probably uh, later on in the year. Yeah, they're going to raise that to $50. $50 American on March 1st. So you want to make sure you do get that. And also remember, you want to check out Bethesda.net. I'll have the link up there for the beta. You can't get signed up for the beta to beta test that stuff. I don't know if I, I can talk. I'll be able to talk about the beta. Although I'm not, I know, I'm pretty sure I probably won't be able to show anything off, but I might be allowed to talk about it. Yeah, but you can sign up there. And if you do actually sign up for the beta, you actually get the whole thing. You don't have to pay for it. So I'd highly recommend you signing up. Uh, you can also do it for console and PC, both. So, yeah, I got a bunch of questions, but... I'm not sure if you actually truthfully have used mods or not, because I don't know if they might be against you using mods. Mm. I did say I did use mods, though, because you know I do. I do use quite a bit of mods. But they're actually rolling out soon. Over, I, I imagine in the next two months, they're hard work on the creation kit. So that should be... They're beta testing it right now, so hopefully soon. Human should have green skin, like strong. I, w I wish I could, Strong. I wish I could. But yeah, and they're actually also overhauling survival modes. They actually have the food... Real, kind of like realistic needs and uh, diseases mod, like in Skyrim. It's kind of like that. Uh, more dangerous gameplay. 
Yeah, you actually have to sleep and etc. etc. Alright guys, that's just talking about me and the DLC. I'll keep you tuned on for especially when that March uh, Automatron drops. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more Fallout 4 content.